Hi, this is John from Fonica Pro Classes and today's quick tutorial is to show you that you can use Photoshop files in Final Cut. Those are the .psd files. So let me show you. So here I have a random timeline as usual and I want to take in a .psd file. So I made an event for these .psd files. So I'm going to click on that event and I'm going to import some .psd files. Now I have two .psd files on the desktop. One actually has the layers in it and the other one doesn't. It's all on how you save the PSD file. Even though they both say PSD, doesn't mean that they contain the layers. So if I click on the one with no layers, it just shows you a picture right here. So you can see it's just a, a still pick. If I click on the other one with the layers, you can see it has this icon here. And you can see the layers um, in this file. So the layers are here in this one, but the layers are not in this one, but they are both PSD files. So I'm going to bring them both in. So now I have my two PSD files here. These were lame thumbnails I did for my other tutorials. But now if I put the one with the layers in, so I'm just going to pick a in and out so it doesn't go over the whole timeline. If I just put one of the layers in, the one with the layers, you can see it comes in as a one clip basically, but it has this icon here. The thing is, if you double click, you will open up the file into the layers. Okay, and you can manipulate the later layers however you want. So now I can see all the layers in this PSD file. If I turn on the transform tool, I could actually adjust the layers like I was in Photoshop. So here, if I click on this, I get the bounding box for this layer. I can move it. I get the bounding box for this layer. So I can move everything in my layered Photoshop file. I could also keyframe things in my Photoshop file. So let me move my window over here. So like, let's say I wanted this picture to fly in. So it's the same keyframing that you always do, basically. So I'm gonna put my playhead here. I, I don't go here because the compound clip that I have in the timeline doesn't stretch that far. So I wouldn't see that move because you see these little lines here. So if I hit my keyframe here, and I put my picture say off the screen, and I'm gonna make my viewer a little smaller. And then I move my playhead to here, and I move my picture in. So I can do this with all the layers, but just to show you that, you know, it's really good to have the layered file in Photoshop in Final Cut so that you can manipulate the layers. So now if I go back to my timeline, I can see that that's exactly what that's gonna do. Let me blow up my viewer again to fit. So it's gonna go off the screen, and then it comes in. Now, if I took that other file, let me move my window over. This one, it's also a PSD file. And if I put that in, it does not have the layers. And if I double click it, it does not open up into the layers because it's not the right PSD file. So I hope that explains a little bit about using Photoshop files in Final Cut. Hope you liked the tutorial and see you next time. Thank you. Subscribe or like if you want.